month already, yeah. Okay, so summer folks, officially a month away. Everybody's trying to get their summer body up to scratch. But um, it's not only about the gym. You have to make sure you're packing in the good stuff as well, as in eating healthily. And for some of us who want to move beyond summer body and go into fall, winter, all the other seasons, even though we only have one um, all year round in Jamaica, husband and wife duo, Joelle and Jodianne Jackson of Tree of Life Restaurant join me now to talk about vegan options. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you for being here with us this Thank morning. Um, so, you guys registered in January to start this as an official business. Yes. Nice. But tell me about what was happening before, Jordi Let me go to ladies first. Sure, no um, what were you guys doing before, and what encouraged you to actually start this up as a business? Well, we we were working full time. We are working full time. But we, we got so convicted of the vegan lifestyle, just eliminating meat out of your diet and and choosing a healthier lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So we started cooking, we started sharing with friends and family members and they were like, this is good. So we started uh, doing one and two occasions and persons like, no, you should really sell this. So here we are today. Tell me about the conviction, Joel. You guys are both Seventh-day Adventists. Um, Why did you decide? Tell me about the conviction. You said you were reading the Bible and? Right, reading the Bible. And, and we, 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 we realized that God's original diet for man was completely plant-based. You read that in Genesis 1 and 2. And, and we, we found that when you do go plant-based, physically you feel better, mm -hmm. your mind is clearer mm -hmm. and all. And this is something that we wanted to share with Certainly people. Certainly your body, yeah. it, it yes. works better. You're leaner, yeah. you feel more light and, right. and nimble. Um, okay, so you started, you started getting good reviews and then you guys said, we're going to do this as a business. But now you're juggling your nine to fives yeah. and you're kind of transitioning. So how has that been going and how have you managed to market and get the business out there while doing full-time jobs? We have good friends yes. who share or post and they're all over the place and we are getting calls from people we don't know saying, can we order some food? And we're like, we're not doing it today because we only do lunch sales maybe once a month. But we do other events intermittently. Mm -hmm. But through so the demand is there. Yeah, it yes. definitely is. Yeah, and Joel sounds like he's been doing his SWOT analysis because you're <laughs> telling me that there is a dearth, um, or you, you find a little market right. in a particular area of Kingston. So you've obviously been doing your homework and your mm -hmm. research, and kind of obviously you have to put a business plan together, and it has to make sense. Right. So you've already eyed a spot that you think a location would right. be good, and you're working on that. All right. Working what is the plan that. for the business? Is it storefront or is it um catering or is it all i mean what aspects are you looking at i think we we want to be demand driven so okay. we've gotten some catering requ requests and that has forced us into a bit of catering we definitely see the pros of a storefront though mm -hmm. so that's something that we want to work on as well okay all right so guys i've been standing here with these guys for just about 10 minutes or so and i'm telling you the food the smell from the food is just wafting up through my nostrils and it smells really really good so i'm going to start with the breakfast option and we'll talk about the lunch option and head into i guess muffins are for any time but talk to me about the pocket first the breakfast pocket all right so what we have here is a loaded spicy vegetable pocket it has uh, let me just open it for you please loaded yeah it's very loaded so what is it loaded with we have uh, lentils mm -hmm. a little vegemins we use quinoa mixed vegetables and it has a, a pastry a vegan Puff pastry crust. Mm -hmm. Okay. A vegan puff yeah. pastry. Okay. Yeah. Right, so this so was homemade because yeah. regular puff pastries, they're mixed with dairy and milk as well. Okay. So this was completely homemade. So what into that, please? It's just, there's a brand that does a vegan margarine. So we use the margarine and it's olive oil with the flour and salt. We press and we freeze and we press and we freeze until we get the puff pastry. Okay. So there are some people at home watching right now going, nope. <laughs> Negative, not eating any puff pastry, no fake meat, no quinoa, no. But I'm smelling real flavor coming off yeah. of this food. Right. So, I mean, you guys have had meat before. Yes. How does it compare? Truthfully, real mm -hmm. talk, don't trick me. Um, you can make the comparative analysis. Mm -hmm. How good is this on a scale of 1 to 10 to a regular, um, what would you compare this to? Beef, beef, beef. patty. Yesterday. Uh, croissant, yeah, something. Be, probably beef patty. Okay. Mm -hmm. How does it compare? Um, if I didn't tell you, it was vegetables and vegemins, you wouldn't know. Yeah. 
Uh, yesterday, she kept eating out of the pot and saying, Joel, this is really good. <laughs> Really, really good. Yeah, that's your own and it's testimony. True. When I taste yeah. it, I was like, this is really good. So you guys don't miss so. meat at all? Uh, no. no. Oh wow. I haven't. In okay. the going three years that I've been completely off meat, including yeah. fish. Mm -hmm. I don't miss it. Okay, so this is a breakfast option. Yes. Right. Um so you get the flavor without the added calories. Yes, definitely. And it's and it's good for your body right. as well. All right, talk to me about the lunch option. So lunch, um, this is brown stew chickpeas. Pretty much done the same way you do brown stew chicken. But we've just substituted a healthier protein. Mm -hmm. You have your Irish and your carrots served with brown basmati and steamed veg. So okay. this is what our lunch pretty much looks like when we have our sales. What are your other options for lunch? Um, Joel says you also refer to this as the oxtail yes. mm -hmm. of, of, of your you know of your brand. What else do you offer for lunch? We, if I don't want brown stew chickpeas, what yeah? Uh, we do uh, curried lentils mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. We do uh, a vegetable lasagna with mushrooms and tofu. We do a nice tofu chop suey. So, so you have the tofu option, yes. as I was asking him before. Yeah, we have. So you do the beans, but you do the tofu yeah. as well. All right, and the muffins? Muffins, now these are banana muffins. So one set with almonds and one set without. Mm -hmm. uh, all we've done is use flax gel as an egg substitute. Flax gel? Yes, yeah, so you take your flax seed and you boil it for about 10 minutes and it comes out very gooey, almost like the egg white. And when you whip it, it gets so very light and airy. So by the time you put it in your traditional banana bread mixture, you have this very fluffy pastry. Where did you guys learn to cook like this? Pinterest. Ah! <laughs> and a whole lot of yes. places, believe it or not. Oh my God, you can there, find it find all it. on the net. Right. YouTube and Pinterest and you're good to go. It smells like you've all been cooking for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> I wish you all the best with your business. If people want to um, hook up with Tree of Life, taste your um your dishes and what your hands have to offer mm -hmm. because the bible says you must use what's in your right. own hand um where do we find you all right so we are everywhere we're on instagram that's tree of life underscore ja we're on facebook tree of life hygienic restaurant and we you can get us at, at gmail as well tree of life ja at gmail.com okay or you can just keep tuned to those pages and look for their storefront when they do open it because they will because that is the plan <laughs> that's and right they're working towards that um, congratulations to you guys. Thank you. Young entrepreneurs, there are so many of them in Jamaica now and that's a good sign for where we are headed. I wish you guys all the best and may the storefront from your lips to God's ears, right? Eh? Mm -hmm. All right, founder of Tree of Life Hygienic Restaurant, Joel and Jody Ann Jackson. Um, so from natural eats to natural pieces, we're gonna take a look at Antillian Charms after we take this break. We'll be right back. Thank you.